Well, today, folks in San Diego and all around Major League Baseball in this country are mourning the loss of Tony Gwynn, who passed away at the age of 54 yesterday. Gwynn put together a stellar career in a moment of silence. It was held here at PNC Park before the ball game, before the national anthem, honoring the life and career of one of the greatest individuals on and off the field. And we have a neat flashback. One of our greatest memories of Tony Gwynn on the field is here. Moise Alou doubling off Jason Bure in the 10th inning and Gwynn will score the game-winning run of the 1994 All-Star Game. Final score, eight to seven. Look at that, Gwynn just getting in it with the slide and ecstatic and a fine moment of Tony Gwynn here in Pittsburgh at the old Three Rivers Stadium. And how about this for Tony Gwynn? He was a career 338 hitter, Greg and Bob, which was really interesting. And he hit 135 home runs in his career. So he wasn't known as a home run hitter. But the last of those homers came right here at PNC Park, August 11, 2001, off lefty Joe Bimel in a 6-2 to two win. And, Bob, I know you faced win many times as well. Yeah, he was, uh, you know, obviously a, a, a tremendous player, uh, one of the absolute all-time greats. But, uh, you know, what you'll hear from uh, a lot of people, you know, today and, uh, you know, for a long time is about what a, a human being he was, what a, a great person, great teammate. And that really is what uh, I think is important is to, to remember that. Yeah, he could hit a line drive, but he was so much more than just that. And to be such a great player, eight batting titles, be such a great man. 338 lifetime hitter. And as a